What's up guys? This is the Roveman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Ottoman Empire. So to round off where we left off, we are fighting one of the great battles in Ottoman history. We are fighting for the Siege of Vienna and this is one of the... F well, this is uh, the current Austrian capital, but they only have one city left. So our old enemy is on the verge of being destroyed. Still a bunch of mortars, they got some heavy horse howitzers to watch out for. Um, but apart from that, it all looks pretty tasty. So let's take them out. And let's convert this capital into Islam. And it is quite... I think it's quite refreshing after all this time to finally see that big cluster of troops that were situated near uh, Vienna and Hungary. They've been cleared out. That's quite nice and refreshing to see. So now our force is going to end up splitting up into two directions. Not two directions. Well, generally two directions. We're going to have one set that are focusing on the northern European plains, but then we'll have a couple of forces going south through Italy to attack Venice. So we want our artillery there. Let's put our howitzers there. So in terms of going through the breach, we want our pikemen, and let's probably just get some Israeli and Janissary grenadiers. Make sure fire at will's turned off for now. Of course, we've got our cavalry, and then to push up around the flank. Can you guys all hide in there? Good. You can push around and try and hit this section of the wall here. Okie dokie, so field artillery. Quick lime firing howitzers. Field artillery engage that section of the wall. Howitzers can generally hit where they like. Let's focus on these guards. These guards here. I mean, they have just killed 50... Uh, Ooh, I've just killed 15 militia. Their gunners are engaging our gunners, but they're not going to have the firepower to uh, overwhelm us. And because our troops are hidden, they are redeploying their men to face us forward. To face us towards the uh, drop attack ground there with one of our howitzers to see if they can land a shot that goes up there. Field artillery are engaging the wall again. Did some very good stuff. They've only got two guns engaging us. <laughs> Firelock armor citizenry took a dose of that, in addition to the guards. Starting to deploy their men to defend the breach, which is good. That's what we want. What I'd like to see is once I make a breach through here to attack, put a breach through here to split their forces and to allow our cavalry clear passage okay let's retarget that quick this quick climb because uh, that is a lovely target good stuff yep, garrison liner moving up going to soon leave this area completely undefended Oh, that's a lot of dead men. Too bad we're not going to get everyone we would like on a... from the wall collapsing. That's the armed citizenry being pulled off the wall. Where are the guards? Oh, they just sat there. There's only 50 of them left. The engineers, sorry. Yeah, I think they've... I don't know. You'd I, I would like there to have been a bit more done with engineers in this game. And what they were what they were achievable of doing. More quicklime. 
That one's not even hitting them, it's just the misses that are getting them. That's the one that's aiming at them. Okay, let's speed up time. Because these traps need to knock down the wall. Oh, they probably don't. Well, they don't have a really good... Oh, they've got an... They have an angle, at least. The question is, though, do I just push? Because right now we've got quite a significant... Well, we do have a significant advantage. There's no other way to put it. The question is, when I go, I have to go... hard and fast. You guys fire your shots off. So some of our guns are bugged and they're not firing. So as they're pushing up, so too must our surprise forces. Yeah, there, they, there they go. Pick a unit of infantry to immediately run over here and capture this section of the wall. Unit of Isarada, you hunker down and wait to get in. These Janissaries can push up there to hit to hit the uh, enemy as soon as possible. You set, you climb up. One more unit, this unit of Nizam that can probably also run over here and wait for this gate to be secured. Send our pikemen in. Let's pick. Okay, to be honest, let's now start to just counter battery, even though we already know it's not super useful. It's good they are focusing on my pikemen, though. Up until now, they're going to get some good hits. Looks like all those men are bunched up. But this is why you push up so aggressively and quickly in all directions. So that the theory is no one area is uh, critical. Our grenadiers, put some grenadiers up on the wall it's on, on one flank. These guys can deploy and wait their turn. Yeah, look at that. One salvo is a lot of men killed. Respect to the mortars. Deploying their cavalry. Might be a bad idea into this combat. Oh, that's more like it. to be honest, make you guys climb that section of the wall, get my cavalry to run around. Pikes are routed, likely due to concentrated mortar fire. Let's run my Semet Janissaries down towards the breach. Okay, Nizam, you take out the gunners. Israeli, climb the walls. Well, no, well, no. Nizam, take the uh, cavalry to 
try and get my infantry up on the walls. So I'm trying to counter battery, but it's not very going very well. you're trying to go climb the wall specifically okay so we've taken the gate bring out my pikes again so stop my my field artillery firings i don't quite know where they're firing yeah my This is... Now it's time for Frame Rate City. Run my Janissaries around the flank. Run my Nizam over to this gate. Just to secure it. So that's the problem with their cavalry, is their cavalry have managed to successfully block that gatehouse. There we go. You guys hit the garrison line. That's what I wanted you to do. You guys need to come over here. I don't want them to run down here as well. Hitting them on every flank. Quick climb on my cavalry, but that's a a risk I have to uh, understand. I don't know uh, what the hell are these guys doing. I'm setting them to go over here. You guys pull back out of range. Ah, well, there we go. Their grenadier guard cavalry have. Routed. So now my now my infantry and cavalry can pour in. Okay, you hit that provincial militia. You hit that provincial militia. these men spill in to just take out those mortars my cavalry's coming in it's funny really how this all Let's see oh is it because they're because my guys uh, yeah you really can't order your infantry to do anything if they're not entirely on the wall Like, look at this cavalry here, man. It's such a buggy mess trying to get my men even into the city, even though I own the <laughs> I own the gatehouse. There, eh, don't worry. We'll get there. These men are only attacking the attacking the militia. Well, these guys are just these Israeli unit. This Israeli unit is just completely bugged. GG. Let's just set you to run off the wall. If you even can. Which it doesn't look like you can. Well, yeah. This... I hope this highlights the risk that mortars play. when you're attacking a city, especially if things drag on and units bug out. So 
So this cavalry can run around the battlefield, chiefly because they're not needed. Our infantry will take them out. What I want them to do, those charge into the back of uh... ah, my field artillery's, my howitzers are engaging the breach. charge that artillery unit but this is very much how you end up needing to get in to cities like this there we go the general's been killed so the cavalry's crashed into the troops defending the breach the Shooter Mamelukes hit the 12th Regiment. These guys are running, running away for some reason. Even when they're ordered to attack. Even when they're ordered to attack the Austrians, like these guys are. Just a bit classic, really. Classic Empire. I'll wave those guys off so they don't... Come on, kill this last officer. There he goes. Then let's just capture this through the timer. Let my cavalry... Let, let everyone just... Uh, charge in. So let's push into the breach, although... Nice one, Israeli. Nice one. <laughs> garrison line unit that was doing a good job holding them off is now going to fall. Okay, let's put you on the in the centre point. Let's get... Oh, okay, they've all... Well, they haven't all broken. We've still got a guard unit. Well, they've broken. Sweet, I think. Is that everyone? Yeah, it's pretty much... It is everyone. Good stuff. Yeah, let's end the battle there. That was... Well, that was a non too glorious uh, reminder of the buggy nature of Empire sieges. But Vienna is ours. So let's take the modern university and tear it down, which we will replace with a madrasa. Uh, Hungary, you guys need to build a. Oh, I'm going to knock down that theatre to do it. Um, can you march down and hit Moses Renner? Just knock him out. So you replenish. Mr. Nadim, are you... Yeah, a little bit of replenishment. Because they've got... This cluster of troops down to the south of Hungary. They need to be knocked out. You need to march and knock out Leonard. There. Okay, so here are some of our... Circassian Armoured Cavalry. In which case then, I might pull a unit of Sepahi out, drop one of those cavalry units in, join the Sepahi there. Let's take a Mamluk Guard out of that unit. Let's drop a Armoured Cav unit down on that force that's one Armoured Cav unit. Everyone else, continue marching north. I don't want to send my siege guns up because they might get intercepted and destroyed by this army in a very cheeky little manoeuvre. You guys can replenish whatever you can. Then we've got this force back here that needs cleaning up. Okay, 
good, you need cavalry. So let's take... Let's just take one of you and the Mamluk Guard set you to go join up with them. You need artillery. I'm pretty sure I probably gave it to one of these attacking units. You're going to stay stay on the bridge in case one of these armies marches uh, northwest. In terms of tech, two years till we've abolished slavery, and then we're going to we're going to be quite far. But well, we are very far down the technology research tree. Over in the Americas, so we're blocking this force in Trinidad and Tobago. We could just go and hit St. Augustine, I think. Although I'd like one un uh, one turn to build a... Um, actually, there we go. You guys march out to pick up... No, oh, God's sake. <laughs> so I want my troops in the port to protect it. I can bring this fourth rate across now. The army can leave Curacao. It can, successfully. Join the force in the port. You guys disembark onto this sloop. Oh, they're gonna they're gonna make landfall in St. Mary's. Yeah, just sail around. Ooh, okay. How many men are they? And what quality of troops? Not very. Disembark the army. Although we've got a very melee heavy um, army to fight them. You guys, well, I was going to say, to attempt to, to break out. Let's retreat. I just don't want them to be... I didn't want them to fight that battle. They'd be they'd be caught in two. Should really have scoured it out. Let's hop back to Europe. Everything seems pretty secure. Persia's still recruiting troops to march to Zahedan's aid. Zahedan is replenishing, or their troop, their army are replenishing. The immediate concerns. Baghdad is also recruiting forces and they're also having their military forces or military centers of productions upgraded we do have the malta garrison can you leave no minus five it's here in turn they are ripe for a priest there on malta um, because they don't have any uh, they can't build any madrasas in their national territory anyway. So let's let our reinforcements march up. Yeah, there go, there go the uh, <laughs> the Austrian priests. Let's well, not priests, scholars. And here come the Spanish scholars attempting to probably try and steal some of my technologies. The devils. Hmm, as Prussia atten attempts to march more troops from the west over to the east. You have seen, I've just got this little raiding pocket of troops there. They're resupplying that pocket behind my lines. So I have to make sure I attack it from the right direction. Are you going to go after Transylvania? Probably. So that fragment of a force I've got near... Uh, the Danish territory in the Balkans, not the full army that's ready to square off against the Danish army. The other one's going to march northeast, ready to attack them. Ooh. That's very tempting, but I've got a feeling that would may bring in... We might be fighting a bridge battle on both sides. I think it might bring up these guys, so I'm going to say no. Hmm. Oh, good. They're marching their troops north. 
Don't worry, Sweden. We'll get to you. You're not going to escape from our grasp for very long. You are alive because we allow you to be alive. Okay, this one's going to be a bit. Might be a bit dodgy. Uh, so we've got this garrison force coming in on the flank, which fortunately is quite weak. The main force as well is fairly weak. Let's do this. I could probably do with... Well, fundamentally, it's not a very good force to land on Fortress America with those Mughal troops. I could probably do with recruiting a, a better army to go march and take war to their land. So I want to pull back. Let's probably two guns to face over to the left. Put some troops down. Put some troops, some more guns down facing straight ahead. Put down some of our infantry. So then I'm going to leave these guys as our reserve to de deploy as necessary. Oh no, I stole one of these units. So I'm probably going to redeploy my Israeli over here to add a bit of... Add a bit of capacity. Let's turn the second man's fire it will off. Let's stretch these guys out. Stretch my cavalry out. And my general. Okay, so our infantry reserve deploy like so. Artillery's done a great job against their foot artillery. They've not got any casualties. Well, they've killed two men. Ooh, look at that. So managed to kill a gun, hit their gun crews, and then also damage these Hindu musketeers in the flank. bring my Mameluke guards over here because this force is very squishy. And I've got the Cairo infantry guards guarding my flank. Throw my melee infantry forward because they will tear. They will tear this reinforcing army's limbs off. No, bit of friendly fire there. There we go. Shattered. So just run on into the next blob of Bohemia Levy. Or the next blob of Levy. Let's maybe make the Mamluk guards peel off to go hit. Go hit these guns. Yeah, against the Riskers of Souls and my levy. Who's on the right flank? Just some levy and Islamic swordsmen. Yep, yeah, melee infantry. Just 
Just don't let them get a... Don't let them have the opportunity to uh, peel off and actually fight you. So let's deploy our infantry guards like so to provide some musketry support. These guys just keep pushing on. Let's make sure this isn't my these aren't my guns firing. Another native bowman. Try and get the Mamluk guards out of here to engage some of these troops that are coming up. Everyone else is probably going to have a great time against these bowmen. The rest of my line hasn't really got involved yet. kill a few more of them just to make sure they do route but then charge them there. Zimondar horsemen. Let's get my camel nomads out. Yeah my infantry should be enough to cleave their way through these guys. cavalry back here actually but we are starting to make some it's one of these units was losing there you go cast a shot on the musketeers they bring in their own camels to bear So what will definitely help here is getting our risk, having our risks of souls in the combat because they are a frightening enemy. Artillery. Pull our camel nomads out of the way. Those men push onto the musket levy. Turn around and fight the camel nomads. Sweet! We managed to kill or break their camels. Pull my cavalry back to support the fight against the weak troops. My camels continue to chase down their camels until they're shattered. because there is a risk now that my men get sufficiently overwhelmed. Where did these Islamic swordsmen go? There they go. Oh no, those are just levy. Still. Deploy the melee infantry. You may have hit my gunners, but my men are going to hit you. Manually pull my gun crews back. Another bowman have my camels on the flank. And they've broken. Bring my Cairo guards around. March out my melee infantry again. And it looks like the enemy is in full retreat everywhere. 
apart from some of these bohem these uh, <laughs> Bohemia Levy units. But we will meet their charge head on. Although you guys better start rapid firing. Where's my general? There he is. Get involved. Hit the Islamic swordsmen. You guys just chill out. Stop doing what you're doing. I need to get my camels to march up and take the 12 pounders. general hit the musketeers because we are so significantly outnumbered on the continent uh, we do need to keep chasing these guys down at the very least they're good units Should probably chase down their general might be a good idea till he, only till he's dead though Damn right, continue. You've got one more foot artillery crewman to kill. Good stuff. Then you guys march on into the Hindi Musketeers. And let's notch the speed up a bit. Chase the levy, why not? You guys have seven. Five, four, three. Okay, now chase after that musket unit. Oh no, there's only two men over there. May as well chase them down. Good. Then go chase that musket unit. overly bothered about killing the levy but to be honest so much so I might as well send these uni units to go actually hit these uh, musketeers because they're men I'd actually like to see killed I mean these guys are hitting the native musketman auxiliary just because there's no one nearby that presents a better target Keep taking them out. There's a lot of them out there, and they're spread out. So we just need to keep telling them to attack, so they keep, like, repathing. One Hindu musketeer left. Good, so I can bring my camels along. Twenty-three left of these native musketmen auxiliary. That's not bad. But yeah, as usual, the main problem is they've spread out. There's still some over there at the back, but I've always I found it's just easier just to let them do what they want to do. Even though it's going to seem a bit illogical running backwards and forwards all the time, but there we are. Even if it means they are definitely going to rout. Because <laughs> only four men, there's a handful over there still. Ah, oh, that's the edge of the map. At least kill these four. Yeah, there we go. They're all the way over there. Three of them. So it's not a crazy loss to not kill those three men, but still. We done good. 
to uh, push them back away from our force in the Americas. And they lost 4,000 men. And that's the garrison of Charleston that got smacked. Yep, don't worry, Mughal Empire. Soon there won't be a research institution in our territory. Because we're doing great on the research front. Don't worry, Venice. You can blockade Cairo all you like. And, tr and interfere with our trade. And the Dagestan garrison is sallying. But, looking at the timer, I believe that's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And I'll see you next time for the destruction, or the final destruction, of the Dagestan Empire. Cheers, everyone.